Okay, so next up talking is Eve Brennan. Um, Eve has uh, several years experience in um, SRE and, and DevOps, and she's going to give us a little bit of an introduction into Dynotrace 101 and an introduction into the AI ops world. So um, just a huge round of applause for um, Eve. Thank you very much, Eve. Thank you for the introduction. I hope everyone was able to get a coffee during the break there. A little bit about me. I joined the tech industry as a software engineer apprentice in 2018. I worked in a full stack software developer role for around two years before moving into SRE and DevOps roles. Last year, I got to be a part of the team that rolled out one of the first ever AI ops solutions in BT. This is how I became familiar with Dynatrace and AI Ops. Currently, I'm working at version one, where I work as an AWS DevOps engineer, migrating HMRC data warehouses into AWS. So today, I'll be talking about AI Ops and how Dynatrace software intelligence platform can be used for implementing it. The term AIOps, which stands for Artificial Intelligence for IT Operations, was coined in 2016. If you were to Google it, you would find the Gartner definition of AIOps, and that is, AIOps combines big data and machine learning to automate IT operations processes, including event correlation, anomaly detection, and causality determination. That's a bit of a mouthful, but more simply put, AIOps aims to use AI in the management of IT services to automate processes. Benefits of this approach include reduced downtime and optimization of resources. However, some challenges do exist, such as finding the expertise, time to value, and infrastructure. The same organization that created the definition of AI ops, Gartner, judge every year who the leaders of application performance monitoring and observability are, which is something with that comes into AI ops. Datadog and Dynatrace are quite clearly ahead of the pack and can be considered the leaders in this area. My experience of working on AI ops project was through the lens of Dynatrace, so that's why I'm talking about today. I should say I'm not sponsored by Dynatrace. So that's what AI Ops is. Let's have a look at what Dynatrace is. Dynatrace builds itself as an all-in-one software intelligence platform. In Dynatrace's own words, Dynatrace seamlessly brings infrastructure and cloud, application performance, and digital experience monitoring into an all-in-one automated solution that is powered by artificial intelligence. Dynatrace assists in driving performance results by providing development, operations, and business teams with a shared platform. In this way, Dynatrace can serve as your organization's single source of truth. As you might imagine, as an all-in-one solution, Dynatrace has a lot of features. One of the main benefits of Dynatrace is its ability to perform full-stack monitoring. This includes your infrastructure, application, digital experience, and application vulnerability monitoring. It doesn't matter which cloud provider you use or if you're on-premise or both, Dynatrace can be configured to monitor your environment. In terms of digital experience monitoring, Dynatrace offers real user monitoring to monitor real user sessions, and it also manages synthetic monitoring, which is useful for checking things such as availability and page load times. Other features marketed by Dynatrace include business analytics and cloud automation. Dynatrace also integrates with over 600 supported technologies, although I do think they count each AWS or GCP service, for example, as a single technology, which does increase the count a bit. Alternatively, Dynatrace has an SDK that you can use to build out your own 
solution if the service you want to use with Dynatrace doesn't integrate. All of those capabilities that we have just talked about can be viewed by logging into your Dynatrace tenant. This is where you can manage your Dynatrace environments. You can build dashboards in your Dynatrace tenant to view your monitor and metrics. This example from Dynatrace shows an overview of infrastructure, application health and user experience and any problems identified within the environment for a sample application. You can set up multiple dashboards so that different personas in your organization can see the information that matters to their role most. A lot of what we've seen so far has been related to observability and monitoring. So you might be thinking, okay, where does AI come into this? Whenever Davis identifies a problem in one of your entities, it uses all monitored transactions to identify interdependencies between the problem and other components in your Smartscape that took place around the same time as the identified problem. It can drill down to code level to tell you the root cause of your problem. This is known as root cause analysis. With this information, you can utilize one of Dynatrace's supported technologies to act upon the problem that Dynatrace has identified. When I, in the project I worked on, whenever Dynatrace detected a problem, a ticket was raised in the incident management tool, which was then picked up by an orchestration tool, which then selected the relevant script to rectify the problem. This could be something fairly minor, like a server running out of disk space or a networking issue. But without automation, that is something that takes time to fix. Someone had to log on to the server, identify the problem, and then implement the solution. Even for a fairly straightforward fix, that could cause downtime. And then that means angry customers and potential loss of business. This is what makes AI ops so beneficial. It can fix a problem before your user even realizes that something is wrong. We've talked about why you want AI ops in your organization and how Dynatrace can come into that. But how do you actually get started with it? First place to start is getting a license from Dynatrace. But then after that, you need to understand the components that you'll have to set up. Dynatrace has two versions, SaaS, just software as a service, are managed. With the managed version, you can set up your own cluster and maintain it. But with SaaS, Dynatrace manages that side of things. Managed provides more configuration options, whereas SaaS requires less maintenance. If you opt for SaaS, you won't need a Dynatrace cluster. One agent is responsible for collecting all the monitoring data within your monitored environment. A single one agent per host is required to collect all relative mo mo monitoring data. A single host of one agent can handle monitoring for all types of entities, such as servers, applications, services, and databases. One agent discovers all the processes you have running on your hosts, and based on what it finds, it automatically activates instrumentation specifically for your application stack. So you don't need to go writing code to make Dynatrace work. It also injects all tags required for user experience monitoring into your application HTML. If using one agent isn't appropriate, you can also manually add JavaScript tags provided by Dynatrace into your HTML pages. Optionally, Dynatrace ActiveGate acts as a secure proxy between Dynatrace one agents and clusters. It establishes Dynatrace presence in your local network reducing your interaction with Dynatrace to one single point. Besides convenience, this solution optimizes traffic volume, reduces the complexity of the network, and ensures the security of sealed networks. In addition to routing monitoring data captured by one agent, ActiveGate is also capable of performing monitoring tasks. So what you need to do to get started is get one agent onto all of your hosts. 
which can be no small feat in many organizations, especially large ones. The Dynatrace installer for your host can be downloaded from your Dynatrace tenant. You log into Dynatrace, go to the deploy Dynatrace option, provide your pass token, select your OS, then download the installer. Then you can run the installer on your host to set up one agent. And assuming you don't have any networks issues with firewalls or whatnot, that's it. Once Dynatrace is finished installing, you'll be able to see your host in your Dynatrace console, along with all the monitoring data from the services and processes running on that host. So minimal effort is required. If you have many hosts, you can use an orchestration tool like Ansible or Puppet to deploy one agent at scale to save you from needing to from needing to go onto each host individually and run the installer. If you want to bring AI ops into your work, but you don't think that Dynatrace is a best fit, you could consider some alternatives. Dynatrace isn't free. It starts at 74 US dollars per month for full stack monitoring. And I know if I was working on a personal project, I wouldn't want to pay that. Um, but there are various licensed and open source tools out there that can, be, that can mimic parts of what Dynatrace does and together create an AI ops solution. What they might not offer, though, is the simplicity of Dynatrace. So that's everything I have to talk today about AI Ops and Dynatrace. I hope you found it interesting. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate. Reach out to me on LinkedIn or on my work email, eve.brennan at version1.com. Thank you.